So I wanted to go over taking bad beats in online poker because in this session I was doing really good, but then I took a $200 loss right at the end of it. Now, as I'm going over this, if you guys could smash like button on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. Also, if you're looking for any good online poker sites, we'll have some bonus and sign up links in both the description and comments. Now, I was playing a $200 cash game here on Ignition and I was up. You know, I was up a couple hundred bucks. I was playing really good poker, making good calls, and it's just like you have that one that one hand where everything changes and you know i had to kind of go over it because it was bugging me a little bit you know i'm also wondering if you want to comment below uh if you thought that i made like a bad play or you know if it was just one of those situations where the guy you know either had the goods or he was completely bluffing because honestly like sometimes when you're playing online poker you can obviously get reads on how, you know, people are betting uh, or, you know, the way they play preflop or, you know, uh, you can just get reads. I mean, there's small tells in online poker. They do exist. And I, honestly, I thought I had one on this guy. I thought I had, you know, his number. Uh, but, you know, the poker gods, you know, <laughs> they weren't on my side, I guess. All right. Anyways, this first hand, we had a, a jack nine. I kind of just folded this. So we've got a, a few hands leading up to the uh, the big hand here. So, you know. All right, next hand with an ace 10. I think I just flat called this one. Now, another thing I actually want to talk about a little bit because somebody uh, commented and they said that, uh, they said that playing preflop it's not good to three bet in online poker you're better off just kind of like slow playing or you know just flat calling you know i totally disagree with that if you watch any of the previous videos on the channel you'll notice a lot of the time in uh certain hands especially when people are raising in late position in these cash games i usually three bet it all the time you got a three bet okay because you have to protect your blinds a lot even with mediocre hands because these games are really fast paced and if you're constantly folding your small and big blind to people raising then you're going to be losing a lot of money so i really want you to think about that for your own game you know start protecting your small and big blind when people are raising late in position because a lot of the time they don't have the greatest hand either so you can usually get them off of it by three betting or you know even if you're re-raising with mediocre hands it can still work out for you all right next hand this was an interesting one we had a seven five suited i love playing seven five suited And I mean, I'll even raise with this in late position, but, <clears throat> you know, uh, this is definitely like a limp type of hand from where we're at right now. <clears throat> but whatever, um, I made the call. Got to see a flop with 7.5. I just, this this hand just always flops so well for me. I don't know what it is. All right, so four-way to the flop. And we hit second pair. There was a heart out there as well. So, I mean, you know, at this point, <clears throat> definitely going to call any continuation bet. I'm also happy just checking this, though, to see a uh, turn card. Maybe get that two pair or another heart. Or, I mean, we could even hit runner, runner, straight card. So, definitely not a terrible flop. Even if somebody's got a 10, you know, I'm not going anywhere. Okay, uh, deuce on the turn. We had another spade. <clears throat> Definitely not putting anybody on a spade draw at this point. Since everybody was just playing this so passively. <clears throat> now, it is likely somebody could have a, a spade, so they might bet it, especially if you got the ace of spades in this spot. Um, but once again, this is kind of one of those hands where, you know, I'm either just going to make a call, uh, which I did. Player five's got like five dollars left. Okay, so we did hit our money card. Now, you know, I know I'm ahead on this. I'm really not that worried about it. About 40 bucks in the pot. Not like a ton of money. Kind of almost happy just checking this down as well, but even getting like a small amount of money off this would be fine. I mean, I know no one's got the flush. All right, 10 bucks, easy call. 
All right, yeah, and uh, we were up against Ace-10. So, I mean, that was a rough beat for Ace-10, but I knew what I was getting into. Fortunately, we did hit, you know, the seven on the river, so we got a little bit lucky there for sure, and we took down the hand. So, 7-5 suited, wins the day. Thank you, 7-5. We love you. All right, next hand, a King-10. I don't think we saw any action on this. All right, this is the hand, guys. This is the one that, you know, I really want... I want to get in my own head breaking this one down because <clears throat> it was it was sickening. All right, so uh, four, seven clubs were three-handed. So, I mean, a lot of hands are playable at this point. And, uh, you know, I wanted to spice things up with this one. Okay, so I just made the call here. Okay, so we paired the four, so we hit middle pair again. A lot of hitting a lot of middle pairs, I guess, for whatever reason. But you know, nine out there, there is a spade draw. You know, you got some ace five, <clears throat> um, you know, straight draws as well. So I'm putting all those hands in my mind with this one. Uh, but, you know, definitely going to make a call, especially on any kind of bet here. So I wanted to see where this guy was at in the hand. So just just check out, you know, this is what I was thinking. All right, so I made the call. Now, the reason I re-raised him there because I was trying to get an idea of where he was at in the hand. He made the call, um, not putting him on a nine at this point, but more of one of those kind of like almost flush type of hands or like an ace five. That's exactly what I was thinking here. Now, I put in a monster bet. And to be honest with you, I was surprised he made the call. Um, River card was an eight. Now, like I said, wasn't putting him on the nine, um, but you know, at this point, there's a missed flush draw. You've got missed straight draws, and uh, God, I guess I could have bet a little bit smaller here. Now, there's $126 in this, and th this is what you're when you're gonna see what he had. It was just so like. I mean, this is a really bad beat. So he shoved all in, um, and uh, I snap called it, and uh, he hit runner, runner eights. Unbelievable, guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you could, uh, you know, smash like button, subscribe to the channel for more poker content, and we'll see you in the next session.